everyone. This is Sonia with Stamping Around the Dining Room Table. And tonight, um, I am, okay, let's see, just wanted to see. I moved things a little bit on my desk, so I just, oh, I think I went too far. Let's see, that's straighter. It takes a minute to come up on my computer. Well, of course it's not see here all right sorry all right i'm gonna have to leave it now because i don't want to make anybody dizzy sick to their stomach whatever so anyway i kind of rearranged things on my table so i'm just trying to you know get things that's a little better okay just trying to get things um right here and just hopefully um it'll work out a little better for me than it seems to have been okay so i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator and if you do not have one, I'd be happy to be your demonstrator. If you are interested in ordering anything, you can go to my website, stamparoundthetable.stampinup.net, and um, you can see what, you know, what things are in our catalog, and you can place an order there if that's something that you so wish to do. If you put in an order and it's less than $150, please use the host code. If it, And I say less than $150 because if you were to put in um, in order for $150, that's how much it takes to qualify for a workshop, which is the, what we call our um, parties, okay? And right now, celebration is going on. This is something that we do every year. This is, It's through the end of this month. For every $50 you spend, you can get something free from this um, little catalog. There are two items that you have to spend $100 to get. But most, but most everything, but most things in there are for fifty. Um, and if you did have a party, a workshop, um, you get ten percent of what you order free um, and merchandise, on, in addition to what you can get from Celebration. If there are any questions or concern, you know. You'd like to know more information you can go to my website you, you can also um, leave a, um, a comment here for me or you can go to um, my facebook page stamping around the dining room table and either leave a message there or private message me and i will get back to you okay so today i'm going to move this one out of the way give us a clearer picture here today we're going to be um, talking about the hydrangea ha haven it is um, a sweet part of a suite that is found on pages 18 through 20 in our june january to june 2021 mini catalog it's in here on page 18 it does give some um show some things that were made using this suite things that you could copy if you were interested in doing that on page 19, it shows everything that's included in the suite. I did yesterday, February 2nd, Groundhog Day, oh. <laughs> I um, did show everyone um, what is included, and I made up a storyboard for that. So if that's something that you'd like to see more of, you could go to my Facebook page to see that. And here it shows a little closer view of the um stamp set and there's the die set there okay um today i'm also decided tonight that i'm going to to be using the so sentimental stamp set and the coordinating um dies from, called Stitch So Sweetly. These are in our annual catalog, and um, you can find them there if you're interested in that. This is on page, the dies are on page 179, and the stamp set is on page 74. Um, they coordinate, they are not a bundle at this time, however. Okay, so I wanted to start by showing you a couple of cards this is one i actually this is made from one of our one of the designer series paper actually let me just see here before 
I get into all that, I'm going to show you, I will show you the designer series paper. We have, it's six double-sided sheets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the back sides of those are that one. So you see you have some that are very flowery, some that are more neutral. Okay. And then the paper I use for this is, if I can get back to it here, I just I know it's there because I saw it, is this paper. This would be great for um, if you wanted to use it for um, a scrapbook page. But um, it also, if you can get at least four cards out of this um and so that's what i wanted to do so this is a very very simple card it's just i use um uh old olive for the card base and then i just cut this um the card base is um let me just make sure i'm telling you correctly four and a quarter by eight and a half no i guess i said that wrong wait no five and a half by eight and a half scored it four and a quarter there you go i always when i try to explain it i always end up getting those dimensions backwards somehow and but any, and then this paper on the front is um five and a quarter by four because when it's folded like this the whole thing is is five and a half by four and a quarter so i did it a quarter inch smaller so it's five and a quarter by four and it gives you that nice little border all the way around okay um, I did use our lovely labels pick a punch to make for to to um, punch each of the ends to make that a little bit fancier. The you make me smile is one of the um, sentiments in the um, yes in the hydrangea haven. Oh my gosh. Is it, Hydrangea Haven um, set, okay? And um, since I'm not sure who I'm giving this to and what for, I'm going to wait until I decide that before I fill out the inside. Um, I did use um, two of the things, other things that come in this, the um, suite are these, the pastel pearls, and the colors they color rococo rose um highland heather so, um soft sea foam and um grape gorgeous grape this these colors they said are a little bit lighter you know, the rococo rose is a little darker so this could even be a little more like blushing bride but i think but anyway and what i did use on here were, were these and you can see they they do have just a slight bluish cast to them because that's a very light blue um but they also can read almost just like plain pearls or maybe have a little bit of a silvery cast to them and then i used which i just have here here it is i used the ribbon that came in this the suite also okay and so it's a beautiful ribbon it makes bows very easily so i'll just make one real quickly here and um maybe there and if I can get there anyway it does make it beautiful bows okay so there so this is one that you could just make up in just a matter of minutes really okay then I did I have this fancy fold here that I I borrowed this idea from Rose Ward and she called this the envelope fold or the triangle cut card and um this is a trifold and in this you can make it using cardstock with just a little bit of um designer series paper or in this case we use a um it's all made at cardstock and then i did put some um card card stock i said it wrong a designer series paper and i use a little bit of card stock there and there and i like that because it gives it just a little bit more substance okay um and 
what I did here was we have this die set, this die right here. When it cuts out, it cuts these little flowers. I thought at first, silly me, I thought that was just embossing it. No, 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 no. It cuts those, and then it's hard to see on here because I put these other flowers over it, but right there you can see a little bit. They pop up, and it gives a little more dimension. And then um, this right here, this die, cuts nine flowers, and that's what I, then I put those over the top to give it even more dimension, and I just took um, like a stylus, which of course I'm not going to find right here, and I just pushed down the center into my um, stamp and pierce mat. I just put it over on the side and just pushed it down in. And it just makes them that they'll go up like this. It's hard to see it here because they've gotten a little bit. <laughs> and then I put a few, um, oh, I lost one of my, it did have another one there of the, I can grab one right here. Maybe. I grabbed, I put on, used um, the, try it again here, see if I can get it to stay this time. The rhinestone basic jewels. There's three there, two down here. Now this for you, the sentiments here are from the um, Hydrangea Haven set. And I'll just show you. Well, actually, and then that little, this right here cut out that, okay? And on there, the world is, a be is better because of you. You make me smile. I appreciate all the things you do. You are capable of amazing things to an incredible woman for you. With love, congrats, thank you, and I love you. Now, on the front here, it says here, these are 79% of the size of the real regular images, and you can see... Where do I have, I had it somewhere, oh here, this right here, so here's the real size of it, but so they could get everything on the front, they made them smaller, okay, so I'm trying to think if there's something else I wanted to tell you, oh, and then you also, like right here, I use, let me move that so I can get that in it, I use this die, to cut out these and what I did is I cut I cut two of them one out of um, old olive and one out of mossy meadow and what I did was I wanted to use the brighter the um, old olive for the stem and the outline and then I took these part because like these come out and if you wanted you could just leave it lacy and you just would see the back through it but I wanted to, the darker color in there and then I did put some Winka Stella all over that now, her suggestion, what um, Rose's was to stamp this back here and to give more like a shadow. And I put that down and I realized that I, I wished I had it over just a little bit more, maybe more like, I don't know if I could even do it. And I maybe would have had to have that up a little more, but maybe more like this. But anyway, because so, I would have liked for you not to see that, that, um, leaf right there peeking out but that's okay now so this opens this way so here I said for you here it says with love and then I um what I did is I made this purple and this green and I stamped off ones that just make it light and I'm not sure who I'm giving this for what I'm using it for I was thinking I would kind of like to do a birthday card so then I just put a little birthday green darker across it or whatever I decide for. So when I do decide that I will finish that off. So what I thought I'd do today is show you this card where I'm not going to make it as fussy as this because I do want to try and keep this to half an hour if I can. All right, so this, this you need um, to get one of your full-size sheets of 12 by 12 paper because you're going to cut it five and a half inches. You're gonna, it's 12 across and then you're going to cut five and a half inches off. And then what you want to do is, I'm going to open this arm so that we have it. 
then you're going to score it at four and a quarter. So there's four, there's a quarter. Now, this is my scoring, that's my cutting. I want to cut four and a quarter, and then you're going to go over to eight and a half. So you just want to keep it straight up at the top. I forgot this is paper, and I did that a little too much. It ripped a little there. Okay, and then, to, now I decided, and so wait, let me burnish this first. That's not going to have to be open so far. So you're going to fold this and 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 I did get a little carried away and so this did split a little there because I didn't need to burnish it as much. I mean to um, it's always on cardstock. I do it a few times with when I'm scoring and I didn't really need to do that. So anyway, so that goes there. That goes there. And then to get the envelope end, you're going to first of all put this at two and three quarters. Get my pencil here. And this mark right here, that's measuring from this mark. So you're going to put a little tick there. Then from this way, it's going to go, you're going to, let's do it this way so then you know it's. At two inches, yeah, this is what I mean. You're going to put a little tick mark there and a little tick mark there. So I hope you can see that. So here and here and then at the two and three quarters. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to trim off on the diagonal between these, this tick mark and this tick mark. So I just want to make sure that those are... In the groove there and there. Now I'm going to cut that. So there's that. And then I'm going to tip it this way. And again, that same tick mark there and this tick mark here, both in the grooves. Make sure I got those right. And then cut that off. So that's your, and I do have a little bit of a mark here so I can erase that. Okay. All right, both actually. That eraser isn't the best. So I'm going to wait. I have another eraser, which I don't see at the moment, so but I know it's here. Okay, so that's going to go like this. So then, see on here, I put two pieces, two layers here. On this one, I decided I just wanted to do one, and this is where I use. The stitch so sweetly dies. I used the biggest of these to make I just wanted it to look a little fancy. So that will go right there. And that's going to go there. And then the one on the inside will go here. Okay. So so what I'm going to do is instead of this, I did I Cut. I used um, I used this and just put this around some of the flowers from one of the pages. If I can find the right one. this one see how they kind of there's a bunch of them and I just cut like a two like a little strip here and then I just put it over like here and here and here and here and here so that I could get a bunch of those and then I did go to another one so I could get oh for this one I used so I didn't there wasn't one that was pink other than in that long other than in here and I didn't really want to cut it from there so but I so I used this and just cut them out because they're a little bit bigger flowers, but they still have the same feel. And then what I thought I would do this time is play around here a little bit. And and even though these have, some of those I'm going to put underneath, so it doesn't matter that they're not a whole one, that they have like a straight side. So I was thinking, actually, I guess I want to start maybe more with 
a dark purple, maybe like it could be something like this. Or if you wanted to save, you could even put this. See, when you put it like that, here, wait, let me play with it just a little bit. Move it just a little. You can't even tell that that wasn't a whole flower. So I may do that and save the whole flower for something else. So I kind of, I might turn this loose. <laughs> Whatever that is, it reminds me, I can't move it too much. Let's say I've got another one. That almost looks like eyes to me, and I just can't have, I have, feel like I have eyes looking at. That is, that would kind of defeat the purpose. I want it to look like flowers, not like eyes, not like someone's a face or something. There. Maybe kind of like that. So it's good to just kind of play around a little bit, see where you might want them. Um, and maybe even, I think I'm going to do some flat. I'm going to pop some up. Okay, and then, where did I put it? Oh, my goodness. Did I drop it? I had a, I'm going to move along here. Cause, but I think, so this should go flat for sure. So I'm just going to, I had everything I needed earlier, right? I had my silicone mat. I don't know where it is. I did have it earlier. I was using it earlier. I can't find it now. So anyway, so I'm going to put that about there. And that's going to go there. And I want that, I do want that to overlap, like go over here, just at least a little bit. This one, I'm going to pop that one up for sure. So let me see. Let me put... I'm not sure that I want the purple one popped up, maybe a little bit too, to give it a little more dimension. So this one, I'm going to put three dimensionals on. Oh, wait, before I take the backs off, let me just make sure how I want this. Actually, I was one, maybe, I wonder, let me just see. see. If I don't push it hard, I can take it off. What I was wondering was if I put, I kind of, I want to be careful so it's not going over. That's over the edge, but not the, yeah, be more kind of like that. And then this, so that it's, nope, I got that wrong. I want that to pop up over there, but I don't want the dimensional to show on this side, so it's going to a little. So let me try and move that just a little more. Put that there. There, that might be better. So this is down a little more so that this will pop up a little more on top of it. I think I like it like that. So it's, this is kind of partially popped up. I haven't really done this before, this partial pop up like this before, but I think it's going to do what I want it to this way. Wait a minute. It's got to go kind of like that so it's over. And I think I'm going to just put just a little there so that it kind of helps hold that there. And then this, with the dimensionals, it should hold it. That goes there. And there. So there, it gives you a little bit more dimension that way when you look at it. If you want, too, you all, I also could have, let me just try and see if I can get this up because I didn't press it down hard. Let me just get my, um, the Rococo Rose here. Maybe you should have done it around the purple one, too. But if I do a little bit of this around the edge... It'll define it a little more. There. So, so you see that a little better. I don't know because of how I did this. I probably can't get this out. Well, maybe I can. At least a little bit. And that one's there. little bit of Whoop. so I do it carefully if I've been thinking this sometimes happens to all of us you went, oh man I don't if only I had and 
sometimes we can get it to work with us and sometimes we cannot there so this is tape this one I know for sure I can't because I glued it down but that's okay so I think if I do that like that and then make sure I got this right that like that there see it does it actually they do pop up a little off a little more so i had been thinking I would have done the blue one too but oh well that's okay I do like them so glad that I think I need to move this just a little bit if I can there there oh got some on my finger so I got it right on there <sighs> maybe I will cut out some put some leaves back there a little later all right so that goes there now this one I'm gonna want it to be right here so let me do that so I can see so if I wanted to I could this is kind of what Rosa she had she had um, taken the stamp and she did it right here so it was almost like a shadow for that but I don't think I'm gonna do that I think I want it this time I did that the last time just trying to think what I might wonder if let me just see here where does that come I think I'm gonna just put ink on just now in here when you open this this up it's purple and that's pink so look do I want it to be purple do I want it these are the decisions we all have to make. And I wasn't sure earlier. I'm still not sure now. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll do this. Now I'm going to carefully, using just the, the corner, kind of like the edge in the corner around here, ink up just the flower. And I am going to get scrap paper, which is right here. Bring this over here. Piece of scrap paper. So I'm going to want this to be... I'm not going to do the... I just want the flower. I think I just want the flower. Or do I want a little of that? Now that I see that sticking over there, I think I'm going to do just partial leaf so if I do that do this leaf again just kind of the corner here whoop I want you to just do this again quickly now try this there and I should have had my mat under there up there and I think I'm going to take this get one of our blending brushes and I'm going to do this just fill this in a little Make it as light or as dark as you want. Let me add just, I think I'm going to add just a little bit of blue to it. And I may go just, I'm going to go back just a little bit of purple again. Just however you like it. That's really what you do. It's what you like. Now, for that, I'll just dump this upside down. Okay. There. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> Dang. Let me close things up here because 
I'm already making a mess. If I can get this to close, that is. All right. Now, I'd say that I maybe wipe right over here. I wipe my hand off a little bit. All right. Now, what I thought I'd say in here was, and I think I'm going to do that in black so it will stand out. And this is from the So Sentimental. Let's say, oh, wait a minute. I don't want that to show. Where did I hear this? I wasn't thinking about that. Let me see if I can get it. Kind of, let me just you know, take of my pencil. That's going to go about there. I just want to wherever my pencil is. So glad. To, oh, here it is. It fell. I just want to make a little mark just so I can kind of see. Okay. So if I do this right there, I think that'll work. It did work. Okay. That was for my fingers. Great. Such is life. Things aren't always, don't always turn out quite the way you hoped they would. Well, yeah, they weren't where, <laughs> good thing. They weren't where I wanted it to. All right. Well, I do have a sand eraser that I can see. Maybe later some of this will come off. Well, some of it maybe wasn't sand. It wasn't ink. But anyway, can't thank you enough. So see, yeah, can't thank you enough. And now for the inside, again, I think I might want to kind of do like I did on the other one. So that it can be like a light background. Let's do this again. Like I did. And then I'm going to stamp this off. And then... <laughs> pick it up and it's still with me there and on this one I'm going to put make sure I get that this calls for confetti and that will go right there so let me whoop, and see if I can find my little label for the front that I had already to go and seems to be. I just want to make sure how this is. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I may put um, right here I could even you know, put a flower over this way. I have to think about that. I might do that just to kind of, well it's got to be bigger than that. Anyway, I think about that. Now and let me <clears throat> I can't believe it. I this is I don't know about you. Does this happen to you that you had something that was right right there? No, that's not the right one. There's my another one over here. It was it matched these. And I on the front I was just gonna say for you, which actually me how I'll put it there or here. And so I was gonna say for you, I can't thank you enough. This calls for confetti. Just a cute, I just thought to make a thank you note, a little fun one. If you really wanted to, you know, write more, you could also put another piece of white paper on the back, and that would give you um, a spot to write more of a note. So, oh my goodness. This is the way things go here. So, and it probably fell down alongside. 
where I'm working here because that ha does happen. Anyway, all right. So let me see here. Or maybe I will even just stamp something. I have to think about what I want to do there. And here I might, well, I, I'll either put, I might put for you here, or I might put it down. If I put it down here, I think I'm going to put a little leaf there, which I will cut out. So, and I don't have that ready right now. So, okay. anyway, I will have, I usually do post pictures on um, my Facebook page and um, of my completed cards. So, I will... I don't know. So I will see you about maybe getting pictures of these on a little later this week. Let me cover up this ink before I put my finger in that. And just a little frustrating when you think you've got everything all set and then it disappears on you. But anyway, and I may even put actually, you know what I might like there instead of a leaf? I might like one of these bows. So I let me just see real quick because it's been a little more than half an hour, so I do want to finish up here. So maybe even turn this off. Maybe even put that there. That would hide that and um, I'll put some bling on as well so okay my I do Facebook lives on Tuesday at 10 45 in the morning and Friday at 1 45 in the afternoon and then I'm here on um, YouTube on Wednesday nights at 7 30 I would be so happy if you would um, would visit me often and um if you have not subscribed to my channel here if you would um would subscribe i would like that and if you did like um this tonight if you would just give me a thumbs up i would appreciate that okay so until we meet again happy crafting bye bye